So I've been doing this football thing on YouTube for quite a while now, right? And during that time, I've had quite a few people ask me, I want to work with in football, but I don't know how. Any ideas? And if I'm being honest, I don't actually know either. This YouTube thing I do, pure luck and a little bit of consistency on the side. That's my number one advice for content creation. But let's say you actually want to work within a football club. Well, BT Sport, who are the home of the Vanarama National League, have tasked me with finding out more. My first stop is... Welcome to Woking. See, as I say, we're visiting football clubs and uh, immersing ourselves in certain roles. And today, it's Woking. And uh, we're going to become, or get to know, uh, what it's like to be part of the media team at a football club. Main thing I want to know is how you can get into it. Gonna go and meet Dan now, so uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we'll grab this soon. Well, what have we spoke about? Everything you've said is absolutely golden, and now we've just got to get it on camera. <laughs> I'm Daniel O'Sullivan, uh, media officer at Woking Football Club. I've been here for four or five years now. It's living the dream, you know? Yeah, <laughs> and you were telling me that you fan first, right? Yeah. So how long have you been coming here? Uh, since I was six, so yeah. a long time, 15, 15 years. I think the biggest question is, how do you become a social media officer or a media person at a football club? It's so different for everybody. I mean, I, I was so lucky to get in volunteering when I left school and then part-time through college and then full-time after college. It made sense of the club at the time, but so many people go through university. There's no right way of doing it. Mm. I think it's different for everybody. You know, Connor in our office, one of our other staff, he worked at other clubs previously, just voluntary. It's so important just to get an understanding and get your foot in the door somewhere. Because I came here expecting, like, you're the guy that does the Twitter, and you are. Yeah but you're also the guy that does the programs. You're also the guy that, you know, prepares everything for the week. You do all the interviews on videos and photos. And right. So it's, it's more a rounded as a, as, a, as a media role than just yeah, social um, media. Do you know what, I'm sort of touching on volunteers again, we've got a great team of volunteers that assist in everything. So we've got volunteers which assist our program, but mm. naturally sort of leading that, you have to contribute to everything too. So we have we have two match day photographers which help us massively. Yeah. Um, in the week I take photos of signings or of the ground if we need to. Mm. Um, it's, it's a massive team effort. But ultimately, Dan, <laughs> Dan is the man. Have you ever been responsible for any like tweets or anything on Instagram, for example, that's gone viral recently? Yeah, or, or we've had a few. I mean, there's it, you, you kind of use memes. You have to of course kind of stay relevant with the, with the times. Um, we had full manager come and stop last year, mm. and we made sure obviously woke in, in between us, take him over from the non-league to. Premier League in five years, Jay Cartwright, that's a good meme we yeah. So we used that last year and got some good numbers. Lovely. It's all about moments, it's all about sort of judging the right time and yeah. what's trending, you know. So now having a good grasp of what Dan does on a day to day basis, it was time to head back on a match day as Woking took on York in the Vanarama National League. Here we are, another sunny day. A lot of people talking about pitch inspections and stuff, it's fine. Sun thaws out this stuff, it's absolutely fine. Just hooked up with Dan here. Um, first job of the day, what's that? Scoreboard. The scoreboard. We always talk about every non-league ground having a pile of crap. There we go. I might nick some of this bits of wood. I need to... Can I take some of this? Is that right? But yeah, scoreboard is up here in the gantry. Look at this. For anyone that's uh, scared of heights, a job in media might not be for you. Luckily for me, I'm alright. Look at that. Beautiful. Football, eh? Okay, so we've got this bag for life, and inside we've got some extension leads. Is this the norm for, like, scoreboards up and down the country? I wouldn't know. No? I, mean, I can't imagine it's a grammar set up everywhere, but... <laughs> Health and safety, it's all pat tested, don't worry, it's all good. good. And so this is what, exactly? This is the main device which um, links the board itself to our laptop. Okay. I don't know if we can see the board from... No, we can't. Right, we've got more wires being applied. Obviously, you guys don't need to know all of this, but... We're just getting in anyway. We've got a laptop connected now. And what you input on there essentially goes on there. Basically. And yeah. then you've got your mobile, which connects to this, which connects to that, which connects to that. Yeah, so I'll operate from my phone or my laptop that side of the ground. Good stuff. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing this <laughs> get set up. And uh, if it rains, then what's what's the plan? That box there. Just a, just a plastic <laughs> box, whack it over the top. But that's waterproof, so that should be fine. Okay. That's what we worry about. So yeah, it just, just, goes over the... just stick a plastic <laughs> box over it. <laughs> so manual, I love it. I love it. Just before I came, I actually tweeted that I'm uh, looking forward to starting the job. A few people cottoning on, a few people excited. And obviously Dan was in there straight away to uh, quote it. Did you have that saved, ready to go? No, no? Just, no? Clipped just, <laughs> just clipped it up. <laughs> That's how quick he is, but uh, yeah. Engagement, mate, engagement. Obviously, oh, we are back down now. Um, scoreboard's looking good. Yeah, look at that. You're all set. You're a wizard, Dan. Look at this. It's real now. I actually work here. Zero hour contracts were abolished a while ago, haven't they? <laughs> but yeah, I think that's what I'm on at the moment. See how I do today. Have to get some of that as well before it gets busy. What are you recommending? Oh, the, uh, the bacon cheeseburger's lovely. Bacon too, cheeseburger. But... We'll get that in a bit. All right, so we're going up the uh, press box now. So I was in the press box recently at Juventus. A bit different. A little bit different, <laughs> but it's still a press box. Still got a little desk. Yeah, it's lovely. And we're just here, yeah? yeah? And who else are we expecting here today? Uh, the local newspapers, uh, York themselves, uh, the two radios, 
so pretty pretty low key. Good stuff, good stuff. And then in there you've got the stadium announcer as well? Yeah. Perfect. I didn't actually realise, but he's actually given me a name. Look at that. And a programme. Beautiful. Right, back in the office, back at the desk. Uh, I've actually got a spreadsheet set up. Arrival. Prepare match template, kick off graphics, we've done all that. Press area slips and programs, final guest list, the scoreboard has been done. And then it was time to start capturing content. Dan with camera in hand. I'm actually talking over this because there's copyright music playing all over the stadium. I mean, guess what that is, you win a Mars bar. Here's Nick, by the way, he's on Instagram stories today, one of the volunteers. We're stopping photos for a second because Dan's just had a call from the assistant manager of Woking because he needs a box of pens. Come on then, let's get some pens. Question is, what sort of pen is it? Like Byro? Are we talking Sharpies for, oh yeah, it's a risk because it, it, imagine he wanted like shirt signing. You need Sharpies. So up on delivering pens, you actually got team news. Yep. And the time is? Five-ish past one. So, so when, when would that normally be released? Uh, two o'clock. Wow, so you, you're in the know, mate. You are in the know. So yeah, back in the office now. Dan's, uh, these are some of the photos you just took, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're doing a counting down tweet. Yeah. How long till kickoff? Just under two hours. Two yeah. hours to go. And that, my friends, is the result of Dan's work. For now. Yeah, just go. He's busy, look at this. Multitasking. He's about to type up the team news. A few people asking if the game's on today. 100%. Can you confirm that via socials? Can confirm it via socials, doing it right now. Look at that, <laughs> look at that. And there it is, simple stuff. It's quite a big responsibility really, isn't it? Because you could, if you wanted to say it was off, but no one would turn up, right? <laughs> you have, you've got the power. But for you, I was saying before, like, do you have to go through anyone to put out certain posts? Some things, yeah, I run it by the sort of hierarchy just to make sure it's all, it's all correct. Um, but to be fair, they give that sort of creative freedom for a lot of things. So mm. It's enjoyable. But more like um, things like game offer on, you probably need to double check. That's you? Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking about this for a while, obviously, you know, food. Today I'm going to go for the top one, the gourmet bacon cheeseburger. Here we go, and I'm going to enjoy this from my seat in the press box. Here's a reveal. Actually a little bit smaller circumference-wise, I must admit. The visitors in York City have arrived they're just checking out the pitch, it's all thawed out, don't worry. This is what's important though, and it's going down well. Right, we're back in the office now, which means Danny's back to work. He is uh, now, have you got like a template for this, I guess, and you just, yeah. up it goes. Any spelling mistakes ever? You ever messed yeah. up? You've yeah. had a few, yeah? yeah <laughs> we're doing it really quickly. Yeah. You get it later, so it's difficult, but yeah, we've got a good amount of time, so. It's all good, all good. There is Dan's work. We've already got a comment. No Kellerman. Hot off the press, we were just saying. Team lineups are now done, printed. You're taking these to the press box and then we'll go to the uh, sponsor's lounge. Here we are, delivering the news. I think all my years as a paperboy could come in handy here. I don't want to intrude though, I'm just a guest today. Although I reckon I could probably deliver them quicker than Dan. That's actually some content for all media officers up and down the country, the press box challenge. Type out a team sheet and deliver it to all those in need as quick as possible. York Radio are in town, don't quote me on that. But they're definitely from up and half. Meanwhile, it's final checks on the screen. Dan's got his templates all rolling nicely. You can see it there over that far side. Other slides are ready to go as soon as we kick off as well. And Bovril, welcome to the non-league football. I'll say a lot of research goes in on the commentary side of things. You've got to appreciate what goes on behind the scenes. Meanwhile, that terrace there is filling up nicely. Kickoff is imminent. Dan's ready to do the old switcheroo. Both sides then make your way out onto the field. And here you can see York City rocking their limited edition third kit in chocolate and cream. And I kind of like it. Quick warm-up for the cards. Dan's just prepping. Commentary team has got non-league football in front of them. World Cup football on the laptop. It's time to get going. <laughs> The switcher is now complete, scoreboard working perfectly. Now Dan's stopped there, Dan's got a tweet now, and there it is, confirmed. In terms of tweets, Dan only wants to post out moments, moments worth talking about. He's not a minute by minute man, he doesn't want to clog up your timeline. Go on, go on. Oh! Is it a moment enough for you? Dan wants quality. Dan's screen's gone black. That shows you how much is going on in this game. He hasn't touched it for ages. Nothing to really talk about in the early parts of this game. I was touching it now. Although there is an exception to the rule. If nothing happens within the first 15 minutes, Dan will update people with, well, not much really. If I was Dan, I'd write something like a quarter of an hour gone, a slow start to the game, but the cards are starting to assert themselves in the York half. That's what I'd write anyway. And then here's what Dan wrote. Quite similar really, eh? Bang. Oh! Is it a moment then? I think that might be a moment. <laughs> yeah, it's our first proper moment. It was the first moment 26 minutes in. They're definitely growing into this one. They had a tidy move down the left. Daly eventually hit a low effort. And it just went wider that far post, didn't it? It did. <laughs> Actually nearing half time, as you can see from the scoreboard, which is not on the scoreboard, it's actually on the laptop, but it is reflecting on the scoreboard. Corner here, goes in, easy catch for the keeper. It's nil-nil. Dan's just played a risky one. He's already made up the half-time graphic. Play carries on in the background, as you can see. He's already confirmed, or he's not confirmed. He will confirm when the half-time whistle goes that it is nil-nil. What if a goal goes in? Now, story checks out. It ends nil-nil in the first half. In more important news, someone's just won the raffle. Love it that they're announcing it. Uh, winning ticket was 1-5. 
484. If you want to come to the, uh, I don't actually know, to be honest. This is outside of my job description. It's a quick dash to the office. Not much dashing was had, though. Slow walk, if anything. A time stationary. It's back to the office where we're going to get a GoPro ready for a limbs cam. Hopefully, a goal goes in. Our volunteer Nick's going to put that in place. Whilst we are back in position for the second half, as Dan implements another switcheroo. Absolutely seamless. Back at it. Up the cards. Really good. Yep. Ooh. Yes. That is a moment. Yeah, it's definitely been a strong start to the second half. Rolls and Brown toy with the York defence before it falls kindly to Daly. But he couldn't quite get a clean connection to guide it home, could he? Just to let you know, I'm in the know. 1,966 attended this game. With England playing France after this one, it was a great omen, wasn't it? But, well, it's just a number. It's a number that Dan's going to tell everyone about until... New York. I think Sanders headed in at the back post. The moment's later, woken in on goal here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dan, get that out there. That's a moment, mate. Kerb was the last man there as he took down Brown. <laughs> Must admit, I'm seeing a lot of this at the moment. Just over 20 minutes left, woken keen to get back into this. <laughs> oh! It's coming. Moment. It was a moment, 69 minutes in there, getting closer. Daly works well down the left, it falls to Rolls just inside the box and he has a good effort, tipped wide for a corner. York though, continuing to slow things down. <laughs> a few minutes later, Woking continued to pile it on. <laughs> oh, no! It was so close, wasn't it? Brown turned brilliantly, found Eamon. He had a dinked effort, but he hit the post. I forget those emojis, Dan. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> It was even closer, wasn't it? Daly crosses for Anderson at the back post, but header goes wide. They've literally thrown everything out, haven't they? And sometimes that can get the better of you. Nice through, Bill! Too nice in this round, Sanders! So Gary, can he get his shot away? He does! Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Lewis! 2-0 for York City! That's the goal that should wrap up this game! Brilliant for Mitch Hancock's in the centre of the middle. He got fed through to John Lewis, went through one-on-one, -one, edge of the area, on the angle, put it past the keeper, makes the bottom Well, it looks good at night, doesn't it? Right, talk to me. Uh, frustrating one, that. Yeah. Uh, we had our chances, didn't we? Um, but if you don't take them, they took theirs. It's, it's one of them, isn't it? How it falls, yeah. I was going to ask you about, like, perks the job, but I guess we could go straight to the downside of it. Yeah, you know, it's you really feel it when you're, when you're involved. Yeah. As much as you would a fan. Um, you know, players work so hard in the week, no doubt, and so mm. do we, so you want the results, but sometimes in the fall, but it's a 46 game season, mm. there'll be ups, there'll be downs, but we're still in the playoff spaces. So. That's it, mate, that's it. Um, uh, give me a couple of perks of your job, what's, what's the best parts of your job? Uh, it sounds cliche, but making a difference to people, um, mm. you know, they're all fans just like me, and you just want to give them something to enjoy, give them a product, give them a game which they can enjoy. Yeah, man. Maybe not today, but it'll come another day. That's it. Know. Well, Dan, it's been an absolute pleasure no, thank you. being thank part you. of the social team here at Woking. And, uh, yeah, I wish you the best of luck thank you. for the rest of the season. Cheers, Look at that handshake and everything. That brings my time with Woking to an end. Big shout out to BT Sport for the hook up there. I want to do more of this stuff, and BT actually have the contacts. Let me know in the comments below what job I should shadow next. It could be anything in football. It could be catering. The kit man. Please don't make me become a mascot. I could keep the beautiful game looking beautiful by being a groundsman. Anything you can think of that's behind the scenes at a football club, the guys at BT, who of course are the home of the Vanarama National League, should be able to hook me up with another club. So I um, hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.